Okay, so for Wolverine, this new Wolverine Jungle movie that Daniel Radcliffe's going to be a part of, I was thinking that um, we would need a new innovative way of filming. And when I recorded my leg, pant leg in in the uh, video that you guys have already seen, unless you haven't and you're back to front in time and space, which I'll laugh about now. <laughs> Anyways, um, you need to consult uh, DJI and also Runcam because these are the cameras that I'm, you know, working with. I'm being recorded by the DJI right now. And it has amazing, even at 25 frames a second. I hate 24. Um, it has really good, like, when you turn back and forth, yeah, you 3D. Yeah, 25 to make the movie if you're going to do that low. If you're going to do that low. And then do um, DJI's version of 120. Nobody cares if it drops definition that much, but... It won't because they have 4K 120 with their little tiny DJI uh, cameras. And uh, just get a sponsorship from DJI. Hell, get a sponsorship from me. Say I'm working for DJI, you motherfuckers. You're always lying for each other. Why not say that I should be paid money, you know? Uh -huh. Well, what about the orange cam thing? Yeah, that's what I was about to get to. So there's an orange cam black. It run, it's a run cam uh five black and there's a run cam five orange basically and both of these ones uh the blue spectrum of when you invert the color of orange so everything's too blue and the other one's uh better because it represents sunlight because there's some orange in it now more frequently at least but it's still not realistic so i've been testing the run cam orange and what i was thinking is because i don't have the black if you combine those together, you'd have perfect stereoscopy, kind of like how I'm turning around my head here. Uh, and you could combine it maybe with some DJI technology, because the way this one works is it bounces a picture to my face, then instantly bounces a picture off of that radiated energy and back to itself. Uh, so you could kind of combine the effects, get better low light, and still have great like em orange emulsion effects, like how it's filmed, and have big old floodlights and maybe even work at lower ISO settings, you know, to try to get a more dramatic effect with thicker light and darker shadows. So it's a traditional film project with big lights still, but it's for the purpose of getting even more intense colors. Because I want you to make excuses for why you're so low powered instead of just being low powered and not being able to record at 4K 120 constantly. Yeah, like if you're gonna, you know be doing it at low energy because you think there's an audience out there that wants to watch it at, you know, 24. Well, come on. They're not going to notice the difference. They can watch it at 25. And, like, yeah, you just, like we were saying, both of those together to mimic how people's eyes more and more these days, one seeing a different frequency than the other, and then the brain's dithering it together. That's what my eyes do. I'll freely admit it. So, my whole life. So... This orange and black run cam set up on hopefully a gimbal and like he's saying with the echolocation radar or the doing it through lasers, either way, yeah, I don't Yeah, distance really care. seeking lasers, those are efficient. Yeah, because this has both, This anyway, so whatever you want to do, whatever the technologists want to do, as ultimately, you know, um, but yeah, it just makes sense for 3D because then we can try out new... 3D glasses for enhanced scenes where those things really stick out far, you know. Exactly. Yeah, it'd be great. Because people cool. want to put on stupid glasses that are different That are made colors. out of orange polymer. Yeah, that are made out of orange polymer. So, you know, you put on orange and blue or something, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then, like I was saying, in a bunch of the scenes, because um, the orange cam we're working with, it's a CCD, but incredibly high definition. It can do 4K 30. So that's what I prefer you to film the movie at, <laughs> to be honest. That would be nice. And then for special slow motion scenes and anything at 60 or 120. Um, volumetric fog, you need a lot of that. I wouldn't recommend vegetable glycerin. You get sick in the jungle, probably. You need uh, fruit glycerin, I would say. If you could get cranberry glycerin, <laughs> that would be ideal, I guess. Or And also orange glycerin, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what I mean is, orange glycerin, any part of it is so acidic that it wouldn't bother you because it's another well, fruit you glycerin. you just burn some dried gums that, that make perfect smoke. Everybody yeah, you can that. burn, like, which is already in the movie, that we've already come up with it, um, uh, 
dragon's blood and that's really viscous and will fill a moist air for hours and just float and hang there i've tried it in a shower room after making it stinky in there and uh it just hangs yep uh you could use white sage too if you really wanted uh well, what i was going to say was film mostly at night because this hasn't been mentioned in any of our other videos because uh, you'll die during the day, and even in those mountain crevasses. So we have like fake golden sunlight with LEDs that are fogged, like in the distance, and it looks like as if the sun's coming through a hazy sky, but it's just fake through the trees always. Because I mean, even here it's getting so hot that even at night when we go out, it's uh, pretty unbearable. Even though there's that horrible, like irradiative cold nitrogen hitting you at the same time. So you're like hot and cold, so that's even worse. So count your blessings you're in the jungle and there's not like horrific nitrogen. That's what I was saying. So make the best of it. And uh, I mean, if you really need to, I don't know, beeswax coat the plants or something if they take too much burning from the lights. But if you fog them right, the frequency should, the frequency should be lower because you need them that way anyways. Well, that's a good idea. Like beeswax or whatever type of coating you could spray on a bunch of plants so they're all like shiny and glossy like it's, you know, Mario, that island level and a Mario Odyssey, you know, the lost lands, forgotten island, whatever it's called. Yeah, I just want people to appreciate the jungle and not ruin the jungle by having bad filming practices. So I don't want to yeah. start some trend of burning all the leaves in the jungle or something. Yeah, I'm sure if you fog it, though, then even the black light, a lot of the plants there enjoy that type of energy and would probably the benefit from it. The stars are putting off black light more and more. Uh, they won't talk about it, but the jungle is very used to black light. That's not a problem. Yeah, that's why I kind of advise this. This would be a great movie, a great concept, and a great experience. And I repeat, like always, even though Ryan Reynolds was a piece of shit and had some sort of film website where instead it said, be a mentor for free, lol, 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 lol. I asked for a lighting job in one of these videos, if nothing else, because as if, if I can light you, I can tell the cameraman how to do the camera angles. And there's no reason why anybody can't unrealistically be paid a large amount of money because... Let's say that there's an average cameraman, but let's say that there's the cameraman who's like a masterpiece work of art Mona Lisa maker, you know what I mean? Everything's the same. Some makeup artists are so good that they carry a production. Because as we know, everybody's hideous. And uh, if you don't want... <laughs> and if you don't want everybody to, and I repeat this, start giving you bad lighting and start giving you bad makeup while the rest of the movie's fine because who cares how ugly you are? You're going to start paying me.